All right, now I don't know if you realize this, so let me just paint something real quick for you. Uh, but when you're here, right, look at this beautiful Picasso. If you do right click, you can see two things, save image as or copy image. So let's do uh, save image as. What this will do is create a download.png that if we open, it's there. Okay, so that's an image. So now what's happening here is that, like I said, the canvas is just a way of manipulating pixels, right? So it's basically creating an image, right? So the download and save part is already built in. There's nothing fancy that we have to do because we already are manipulating pixels. We are already creating and to the image, right? Now the thing is that I realized there is a bug here. Look at this bug. I'm gonna paint real quick, right? And I'm gonna save this image. What will happen is that the image is transparent because I don't know if you realize this, but we didn't set the background of the canvas, the actual pixel manipulator canvas. We didn't set that background. We only set the background of the HTML, HTML element. So we need to do this as soon as the canvas loads. That's what we're gonna do here. Right, so let's come here. Before we create the fill style to be black, we're gonna do context, fill style, white, and we need to make a big, we need to copy this one actually. But in this case, it has to be white. Yeah, the same thing. So we're basically filling the canvas by default with a white background. All right, so now if we refresh and we draw again and we save image, we will see that now the image has an actual white background. All right, so that part is working, which is cool. Now, if you don't want this menu here, right, this is what's called the context menu. What you can do is add an event listener. I just want to teach you this because maybe you don't want people saving your image like that. So this is called context menu. It's an event, context menu, like when the context menu happens, all right? So we're gonna say handle right click or handle context menu, CM, all right? Let's make a function here. Okay, and the event. Now, if we console log the event, there is not much to do. Let me inspect this. Whoops, no. Inspect. Console. Right click. There you go. You see? Right click, right click, right click, right click. Perfect. Now, what happens? How do you prevent this? It's very easy to prevent. Instead of just letting the event finish his course, you can do event that prevent default. Right? And I want you to see here that this is inside of mouse event. It's here. Prevent default. Where are you? Mm, it's not here. What? Cancelable. What? It's not here. Weird. All right, we'll see. We save. I don't know what is not there. It should work. And right click. And it doesn't work. I'm clicking, I promise you. And it doesn't work. So this is if you want to, right? If you want to, but it's useful to know. Context menu. This is just because, for example, we just want the people to download our image by clicking here on save, right? That's it. So let me delete all these images. All right, and now let's add the appropriate event listener for this. So an index HTML is called JS save. We already know the drill. button, document, get element by ID, JS save, if JS save, no, nope. if save button, save click. All right. Now what we want to do 
is to put all this thing and capture it inside of an image, right? We basically want that image. So then we can like make the user download it automatically, all right? So first we need to get the data of the canvas as an image. That's part one. And now for this, I wanna show you, it's called two data. Where is it? Two data. Oh, nope, Canvas API, two data. Image data, no. Fucking hell. Canvas to data URL. Ah, uh -huh. HTML canvas element. Look at that. HTML canvas element to data URL method returns a data URI containing a representation of the image in the format specified by the type parameter. By default, PNG. All right, so we can change it if we want. It could be PNG or JPEG or whatever. Let's go. So here, let's do image, and that will be canvas, dash, that, to, data, URL, is it? Again. To data URL, and this should be, let's do image, JPEG. JPEG. All right, let's just console log image to see what's up, if it works. Look at that, it is an image. Wow, all right. Now we go, that's the image right there. Let's do it again. Let's click save. It turns into an image. And if we go there, it's too long to go. Wow. Copy, paste it, and it works. It's just an image, as you can see, and it works. Awesome. Now, what I want to do is to create a link, basically, like a, a link that doesn't exist, right? And I'm going to say document, create element, anchor, right? Then I'm going to say link that download mm, will be image, all right? And let's just console log link. I want to show you how it looks. Download is an attribute of the um, anchor tag. You can make an anchor tag like this. And instead of href, it could be download. All right. As you can see here, it says this attribute instructs the browser to download a URL instead of going there. That's what we want. We don't want to go there. We want to download it. All right. Let's just console log the link. We refresh. I'm going to fill. I'm going to paint. And I'm going to save. And look at the link. Now the link has a image right there. Maybe it's longer now. Woo, super long. All right. And that's the image. And what we have to do is just fake a click. Link, click, done. So now we come here, let me paint something beautiful for you. Oh, look at that beauty. We go back to paint. Beautiful, and I click save. And something's wrong, something's wrong. What happened? Link that click. Link download, yes. No, what's the error? I think I made a mistake, link, MDN, download. I think that the image has to be on the HRF, right, image, and the download should just contain like a name or something. Let me just go quickly, download. Ah, uh -huh, look at this, it's here. So the href has to be the image and the download has to be the name. Ah, okay. Hello, no, 
paint js and ah, let's put a fancy name export in an emoji maybe i don't know paint that's cool right so the href has to be the image the url and the download has to be this all right before this works i just want to console log the link once more href and download and the name aha got it all right and now we can fake the click i think let's go let's fill it up with this beautiful thing let's paint here Let's make the Nomad Codes logo. Wow, perfect. Beautiful. And now we click Save. Aha, and as you can see here, here, because I know there is subtitles, but here on my browser, there is a paint.js.jpg. Awesome, now I click on it, and it's exactly what I just did. Sweet. I think the quality of the JPEG is kind of shit. So I think I'm going to leave it as a PNG just for, just to test. Let's try to test. So if you delete the quality, the, if you delete the type, it will be a PNG, I guess. So now let's try to do it again. Save. PNG, now PNG looks better. They're still pixelated because we're talking about pixels and this is a 700 by 700 image. If you wanted something super high quality, then you have to make your canvas super high quality, right? And yeah, I think the quality is better than PNG. Awesome, and it freaking works. And we're making images with JavaScript. Amazing. Let's delete this bullshit, all right? And it's working, people. We are saving the files. We are done with Paint.js. Oh, it's so sad. It's a nice project. I learned a lot making it. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.